Okay, so today we're working on investigation two, uh, particularly focusing on figuring out the area of a triangle and the length of one of its sides. So first off today we want to be able to plot the points that are given here, plot uh, point A, B, and C. So point A is at negative two, two, Point B is at negative 1, negative 2, and point C is at point 2, 0. Okay, we will then connect each of those points. with a line forming a triangle. In order to find the area of this figure, given that very few of the vertices intersect, or all the vertices intersect coordinate points, but the sides do not, we will want need to go ahead and draw additional grid lines. So in this situation, we will want a square around the shape like this, giving us, when we do this, three right triangles. Okay? So with that information, first off, we will look to find the area of the square itself. So the square itself is a four by four square, so we will have an area of 16 units and then each of the triangles so the top triangle here is a 4 by 2 so given a 4 by 2 triangle here we will have an area here of 4 the bottom triangle here is a 3 by 2, so that will give us an area of 3, and the side triangle here is a 1 by 4, so that will give us an area of 2. Okay, Taking our 16 units and subtracting the 9 units here will leave us with 7 units squared as our total area for this triangle. Okay. Next off, if we want to be able to find the side length for side length AB, okay, first off what we want to look at is what is the slope of that line. Okay. We've been talking about square roots and using the square, finding a square and the side length being the square root of the area. So if we have a slope here of, here is negative 4 over 1, which means the slopes of the lines that are perpendicular are going to have to be 1 fourth, positive 1 fourth. Okay, so from here we connect our lines to this original one. We go down one and over four using our line tool. And do the same thing from the top point and then connect those lines. We will find that we have now a square here that is slightly off to the side. Okay. Then with that information, we are then looking for how can we form some form of a normal square inside of it, of which in this one, we see that we can form a 3 by 3 square on the inside of the square area we're trying to find here. So this 3 by 3 will give us an area of 9. And then we have four smaller right triangles that form up the remaining section of this area. Each of them has an area of one height 
N3 base. Okay. With that giving us, each one will have a slope or an area of 1.5 for each one of those. So 1.5 times 4 is going to give us 6. So 6 added to our original 9 means that the area for this square is going to be 15 units squared, which means the side length that we were looking to find of our original triangle here of AB will have a length of square root of 15.